Hello friends, welcome to Let's Tute. With exam coming closer, your family and friends and people surrounding you tell you how to study and how not to study. They suggest you a lot of study techniques. Few of them may work and few may not. So, do we have any study techniques that works scientifically? Well, today we are here with nine scientific tips that actually work and will help you to study faster and better. First, try to avoid to study at night. It has been scientifically proven that studying at night or sleep deprivation causes less working memory, reduced ability to execute functions, and also lowers your physical reaction time. Lack of sleep causes a lot of tiredness which eventually lowers your brain functionality. Study during daytime as much as possible and have a peaceful sleep at night. Tip number 2. Then how to study and when? You will be surprised to know, according to a study by Microsoft, the average human being now has an attention span of 8 seconds and the average concentration span can be between 1 to 2 hours. According to Pomodoro technique, you should study in small chunks of 25 to 30 minutes and take a 5 minute break. Now if you are not able to finish a particular topic in 30 minutes, this is where the Zeigarnik effect comes into picture, which says that people remember uncompleted or interrupted tasks better than completed tasks. Sitting for 8 to 10 hours at once is not a good idea. Now why this? This is because in short repetitive sessions the brain is better at translating information into synapses. Third, make a plan and keep a goal. Keep small small goals for yourselves like learning the Pythagoras theorem or the parts of a human brain. Study one topic at a time and make sure that you not just understand the topic but you should also be able to teach that concept to someone else too if you have one target then you can focus more and better during a study two groups of people were given a topic to study in group a the students were just asked to study a topic in group b they were told that they had to teach the topic to a class of students after they have studied it Results showed that group B performed better than group A. This means if you teach a particular topic to someone, your brain trains itself in a more coherent manner. So, try to study in groups or teach your friends. That is a more logical and consistent way. So now where to study? Design a table and fix a spot for your study. Your study should have everything that you might need while studying. sit on a chair this will keep your posture proper do not study on bed they are meant for sleeping make sure the room is light and enough the direction of light is best if it comes from behind and over the shoulder and light directly from above is also good music helps in studying but what matters the most is that which type of music you are listening the trick is to choose music that is different from your favorite genre and music with a repetitive pulse choose neutral music or any classical music and don't play it too loud the mozart effect is the most famous theory that links music and cognitive performance which is closely related to learning and problem solving skills people also say that listening to mozart can make you smarter but there's no scientific proof to that Also remember we are talking about music and not songs there should be bare minimum or zero lyrics A lot of you must be marking important statements in your book so that it will be easier for you to revise it later Well scientifically there is a better option to revise that is by making flash cards When you randomly highlight a lot of things on a paper your brain cannot connect any of those topics together causing a fright It also draws unnecessary attention to the topics which are not very important also. On the other hand, when you look at the front side of a flash card and think of an answer, you are engaging a mental faculty known as active recall. 
In other words, you try to remember the idea from the scratch instead of just looking at the paragraph in your textbook or remembering it on a questionnaire with multiple choices. For this memory trail, successful recall has been shown to create stronger neural connections. Flashcards help you practice faster and they are to the point. 8. Practice as much as you can. The more you practice, the more confident you get. By taking practice tests, you can know how much more efforts you still want to put in. So just practice, practice, practice. Well, do you really need a scientific proof for this? Last but not the least, keep your phone away and start studying. The continuous updates on your phones are extremely distracting and kill your concentration. You can also try e-fasting, which is like regular fasting, but here you keep yourself away from the electronic gadgets and social media. To do this, you can try a few tips like turn the notifications off, reduce the number of times you check your phone, time yourself, be more disciplined and if required, remove a few apps from your phone. Well friends, these are the 9 scientific tips that helps to study better. There are always exceptions in life. So, there may be students for whom few of these tips may not work. So, don't worry. Just find your best way to understand and study a topic. Well, even after watching this video, you are still procrastinating on your studies? Watch our video on procrastination. We have 25 plus more exam series videos which may also help you to study in a better manner. All the best for your exams and thanks for watching.